For preparing arroz con pollo, we're gonna need these ingredients. Rice, uh, we use two cups. Corn, peas, cilantro, garlic, onion, and carrot. If you want also, you can put some uh, beer on it, but in my case, I'm not going to. But it actually gives it a special flavor that is so much better actually. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so now that we got the cilantro uh, done, then we got our onions chopped, our garlic chopped, and our rice washed, then we're gonna cook. So this is the color that it has right now, but at the end it will get um, white color. Okay, it got this color. So now we have to put the garlic, All right? The garlic is there, so I'm gonna move everything so that garlic also has the flavor of the chicken. And as you can see, I'll leave it in the center because there is where it gets more flavor. While this is cooking, I'm gonna go to the other pot to see if everything is cooked. How do you know that everything is cooked? Well, since I put the corn at the end, that's what I'm gonna check. Mm -hmm. It's cooked. Okay guys, since I didn't have... Well, this is my jar of, of yellow chili. But since I didn't have any of it, then I'm going to blend it and I will show you how to. So for the sauce, as you can see, I eliminate the veins and the seeds. And there are two ways of doing it actually that I do. I usually boil these without the veins, without anything, like this. Like this, I boiled it, but uh, since this time we don't have time, <laughs> that's the reason why I'm going to blend it like this with the skin, but then I'll have to string it okay so let's begin I'm gonna put some water again right there and I'm gonna boil this sorry <laughs> I'm gonna mix this Blending. okay so now we're gonna strain it Okay, I forgot to mention that I'm gonna add the corn over here too, so that everything is boiled there. All right, now the next step is to cook the arroz con pollo or chicken with rice, Peruvian chicken with rice. First, you add some oil right here. While the oil is warming up, I'm going to put some season this with some salt and pepper. Another thing that I need to mention is that most of the people uh, leave the skin with the chicken. So actually it gives it more flavor, but in my case I didn't because this is what I have right now. So I'm gonna put some salt. Okay, now we're gonna put the chicken 
in here. As you can see, it can fry. So it means that the oil is okay. Okay, so now we are adding the chili sauce, just a little bit, and mix it again. Okay, so the ají amarillo should be like this, the chili should be, should be like this. After that, then if you have beer at home, then you should include it right here, like mm, it should be one cup of beer, all right? Since I don't have it, I'll go to the next step, which is put the cilantro in here. Again, mix in. Actually, the secret for the arroz con pollo is this. <laughs> this part, you know. It shouldn't be burned. And it shouldn't be overcooked. And it shouldn't be... Um, without being cooked. Okay. So well so far I didn't put any salt. So just wait for a second. Later we're gonna do it. Alright guys, so our next step is to put <coughs> the vegetables. I mean half cup of corn, half cup of uh, peas and half cup of Carrots. Since I boiled them before, they don't need to be right here so much. Um, we're gonna move this. It already seems like a an arroz con pollo. <laughs> okay, guys. So I left it for five minutes right now. Usually, it's five minutes between one thing and the other thing that you add in here for example first you got the um, the chili the yellow chili then after five minutes you got the beer after five minutes you got the cilantro after five minutes you put these i mean the vegetables and after five more minutes i'm gonna put some pepper oregano and some Right. First the pepper. Okay. Oregano no. Mix. Now some rice. Okay, so as I told you before, I put two cups of rice. I'm gonna mix. You see? So now the color is green. Okay, so now that we have the rice like that and Obviously, always we need to have like these in 180 degrees, okay? If we put it in high degrees, 
then it won't cook the rice would be not cooked but if we leave it like this then it would be cooked All right so now I'm gonna put some chicken breast okay it was like half of a cup but since we add two cups of of rice then we need two cups of um of water or chicken breast in my case inside got just half a cup of chicken bread then i will have one cup and a half of water okay so now that i got two cups of liquid and two cups of rice then it would be cooked right remember 180 degrees or 175 degrees celsius so that it doesn't get spoiled and now i'm gonna put the salt right now is where you put the salt first time okay guys another thing about the salt this is another trick so that is not salty or lacks of salt if you have two cups of rice then you have two tablespoons of right of salt so one tablespoon it should be proportional two tablespoons all right i mix it all the chicken breast While we are waiting. Okay, so meanwhile I'm preparing some salad. As you can see. It's um onions, tomato, and lettuce. So I think it's almost ready. Meanwhile, I'm gonna pour some vinegar because I actually ran out of lime juice. I'm gonna put some vinegar, salt, and some olive oil. Some olive oil here. And mix it. Okay, let's open it. Yay! <laughs> it's already cooked. I'm gonna try it out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cooked. So now serving. Ta da! And that's how you serve it. As you can see, the steam is <laughs> there. But let's try it out right now. Okay, so we will try it out. Take a look at these. Let's see. Obviously, it's gonna be very hot. <laughs> Ten out of ten. <laughs> okay, guys. So if you like the video, please like here, right below, and subscribe. And comment me, please, if you are doing it. Um, maybe what do you have in your country that is similar to ají amarillo uh, or yellow chili? And we'll see you in another video. Bye bye. Take care. Okay guys, so also I've got to confess that we have mixed it with some ceviche. <laughs> this combination is not regular, <laughs> it's not normal, but you usually have to combine it with some huancaína sauce that we will see in another video. Bye!